I heard Mick the Beard and live at the Gadget Show. Uh, I know it, it's an unlikely place for metal stuff, but I just found some guys, I'm sure you'll be interested in this. Here we go. Hi there, uh, I'm James from Avid. We're showing, uh, along with the guys from Rock Hopper, the Pro Tools um, Essential Tour. Um, what I want to show you is our new Pro Tools LE interface called 11 Rack. Um, 11 Rack is three solutions for sort of touring guitarist, studio guitarist, all in one. Um, it's got 12 absolute killer amp simulations built in there. Um, everything from the kind of um, Fender Twins style. Sort of light, light overdrive. Right the way up to more nasty stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, All right. Uh, everything from this some nice, nice stuff. Let's go okay. for a bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's going on actually in here? As we do um, kind of three levels of Pro Tools. Pro Tools LE, um, Pro Tools Empow, which is the, the kind of introductory version. Pro Tools LE, kind of middle ground. Uh, and Pro Tools HD, which is the sort of thing you'd find in Abbey Road or any of the big sort of West End studios or studios all over the world. This is kind of Pro Tools LE Plus, because actually what's doing the processing in here is two of our HD processors. So just to take the technicalities out of it just for a minute, um, you've got top end guitar processing happening in here. Um, but without the top end price tag, which is the best bit, I'll come on to that in a minute. Let's just have a look through some of the really cool features and very easily get to turning on the on and off the effects. We can scroll through some sort of real classic sort of Dave Gilmore sound. So everything's in there. We've also modelled for the 11 rack um, 26 classic stomp boxes. Um, and so guitarists know it's really important the order in which you put those stomp boxes. So I can just grab hold of, say, my, my overdrive pedal and drag it to the right or left so I get my, the order exactly as I want it. So I can model some of those classic sort of vintage sounds. Tweak it on. Push that a little bit harder. And the cool thing is, obviously we could go into this for quite a while, um, if you're in the studio and it's all going wrong, you're really feeling the pressure and it's really not happening for you that day, take that and your laptop back to your hotel room, sit there, craft your solo and record it in into just a, a direct DI channel. So you've got the clean guitar sound. If I just uh, unmute that and mute it. There's my, my absolute clean sound. I can record with my my affected sound, run it back out using the um, output to amp section, run that through my big Marshall stack or my whatever I want to use, plug a microphone straight in and I can do what's called reamping. So it takes all the pressure out of being in the studio. Um, best thing of all is retail on these boxes you'd expect to be somewhere up in the plus thousand pound mark. I know you can pick these up for about 710 quid. And that comes to you, effect, to you rack with the software. Can't be bad. That's what you want. So if you're interested, uh, we'll put a link on the website and you can tie up with these guys and get one.